<sighs> I'm exhausted. Yes, I've been hard at it all week. Pardon? Let's have a look through the arched window. Today? Ready to play? What's today? Play school. <laughs> well, as you can see, there's just four squares left. I've done a couple of squares when I got home from work each day. <sighs> and I've just done a couple more. I know it's nothing to do with bikes, but it's icy outside, minus three, ice and bloody thick frosts everywhere. Not that I need anything, I don't even need any more glue. I got four tubes of glue. And uh, as I found when I did all this, if you get it bang on accurate, they actually hold themselves in. You no, know, they just push into place. I'd also try to show you what I've been up to. I don't like not uploading videos. Some people leave it for months and you start to worry thinking people are ill or something. But I like to keep in touch with subscribers. This one's going to be 419 and a half and the other is 420. For England and St George. Hurrah! Woof woof! <coughs> well, as it's the last two pieces, <coughs> I thought I'd do a little completion film. <coughs> yeah, that's a gentle persuasion. Right, this is a final part, I missed a bit at the top. Mm. Well, it's there, but it's not as tight as the others, but I'm not bothered, it's not going to move. Oh, fine, was it worth it? How's the colour look? On a still picture without flash it comes out the reddish brown that it actually does look like but you get a distorted uh, colour on these action cameras Does it look medieval? Let's have a look Well this upheaval is isn't you? I'm not going another No I did that full height but I actually thought of doing a ceiling too at one time. <laughs> well, that would have just been uh, a bit too dark and gloomy. Yeah, that's alright, that. A bit uneven where I've had to squidge that filler into the bloody wall. Because I've actually squidged too much in and it bulged out slightly. But that adds to the uh, sort of medieval look. A bit uh, buckled. You should have seen the ones at uh, Sonbury Hall and Horton Tower, they were a wavy. Although they've been up for 500 years. <laughs> I was painting the, uh, you know, the mitres and then sticking them in, but I thought, well, I'll, I'll just dab a bit in each corner because I'm going to varnish it all. with my finger. I'm worried in case the corners will be a bit darker then. Theoretically they will be but after I wipe it the excess off with my finger. Should be alright. Stipple it. Weather outside is frightful. Dee 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 dee. Diddly 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 Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Diddly 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 Come on, come on 
Little parcel arrived midweek. My latest Chinese LEDs have arrived. I was going to cut these down, but I think I'll try and fit them in my top box like without cutting them. I mean, what's the point of cutting them? £2.75 a pair with free ports from China. <laughs> How did he do it? I expect the port is about two quid and the item will probably cost what, 50p to manufacture if that. So they must still make a profit. I'll do a separate video about that. No, when I've actually installed all the lights. The scruffy left a mess. Let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> well, what time is it? Oh, just six o'clock and I've uh, just finished. Like I said, luckily there are enough uh, offcuts of the barrel mould sticks to finish these six panels, which I didn't finish two or three years ago. No wonder I'm absolutely knackered. It's all getting up, getting down, getting up, getting down, getting up, getting down. <sighs> I'm not sure about the varnish idea. I mean, it looks all right like that, but at night time you can't see blemishes, but when it's daytime and there's sunlight on, I think I'll leave it, clean up, hoover up and then see how it goes and I could always varnish it at a later date although if I varnish it now what's that, half an hour of a job possibly, maybe an hour it'll be dry tomorrow but it might not need varnishing <sighs> so imagine doing this for a living, I've been watching that do it yourself thing where they do houses up for uh, families that are struggling just in a Manchester family's loft conversion and made the house lovely Hi right, Bobby Yes I've let Bobby in No we in, no crap in, goodbye Goodbye <laughs> Yeah, I'll tidy up, I'll leave the varnishing for another day, if I'm going to do it. So, it's all complete. As you look, medieval style, or even Georgian style, that was the idea. Like a Georgian drawing room type of thing. time from 1820 maybe that's the period uh, that this is sort of set to 1820s, 1830 the film Oliver Twist was meant to be 1830 something you know, when Dickens wrote it right, I'll tidy up Knackered. I'll have a cup of tea first and some biscuits I hope I'm not starting me a cold. It's not a lot of afternoon. Been a good boy, Bobby. Ah, uh, uh, come in. A little Bobby. <laughs> You've been outside, it's no, haven't you?